morning guys, it's Boostum here, and today I'm inside of Minecraft. And today I'll be showing you guys the best PvP tricks and tips and tricks to help you get better at PvP. Let's go. First tip, the number one first tip is W tapping. The basics of W tapping is basically slapping the heck out of your W key. Somehow it gets you combos and reduces your knockback while raising your opponents. But I must go into consideration, you can't just spam W. You must time it perfectly or those combos won't be a three. My sprint key is R if you didn't know that, which makes it easier and better to W tap. This side is without W tapping, this side is with W tapping. I'm gonna show you. This is without W tapping. See? That's um, without W tapping. And that it gives you one to two blocks of knockback. Now let's go into W tapping now. Ready? See that knockback? See? That was W tapping. W tapping gives you three to six blocks of knockback. See? It improves the knockback and you can maybe fling them off the edge of depending on what you plan. So let's go on to the number two. The number two is S tapping. Similar to W tapping, but the goal of it is not to spam it, but to get distance away from your enemy. Right after you hit the enemy, you can press S and get further from your enemy so when they swim when they swing these won't be in reach when w tap then w tap to hit them again then repeat it till the enemy is dead so same as last time this is the um the um the without s tapping ready this is s tapping without s tapping i mean see they so they're still in range of me hitting me oops i accidentally s tapped there but see you get the you get the idea. Now this is with S tapping now. See so, yeah. But again again you must time it perfectly again. Or see there, I didn't time it perfectly. So I got hit. See? See? There. That is S tapping. That imp that helps a lot. Let's go to the um number the third tip. And that is strafing. Strafing is when you either circle around your opponent or circle around your opponent while hitting them so that they get a lower chance of hitting you back. Move side to side repeatedly while hitting them so that they have a cha lower chance of hitting you back. Strafe names, circle strafe, 80 strafe, and even fakey strafe, which is the one I made. Let's start off with circle strafe. You just have to circle around the... See, you just have to circle around the enemy. See? But I'm using mobs, so it's a little bit harder to do fool them. See, that was that was that. Now let me show you um, AD strafe. See, you're basically moving side to side to, to kill the opponent. Now on to fake e strafe. This is the one I made, which is um Basically, let the fake out which way you're going and hit them. See? Maybe this way. Let me show you a good one. See? Good. Okay, now let's go on to the number fourth tip, which can help you. And that is CPS clicks per second. Using different CPS can affect your PvP a lot and can really help. Get the next hit as soon as possible, but too much CPS may result in loss of accuracy or aim. If you normal click, you get around 4 to 7 but have good aim. If you jitter click, you get 8 to 11 but horrible aim. If you butterfly click, you get 9 to 12 CPS with moderate aim. So this is normal clicking, and you have pretty much um, the accuracy of what you can control it as. Now this is jitter clicking. I can't really jitter click well, but this is jitter clicking. I can't really jitter click well, but you saw the camera where the it was just crazy. Now let's go on to butterfly clicking, which is my favorite. You get nine, you get nine to twelve CPS, and it's moderate. See, a little harder to control because your grip on the mouse has to change a little bit. All right. So tip on clicking. Use fingertips, do not flat finger click, so 
that's like the tip of your fingers do not do not like palm click aim and accuracy is another big one having good aim is key you don't want to have high cps and no aim that's how you lose pvp fights keep track of players surroundings so if they move around and stuff and hide a good way to aim better is to aim at the chest of the enemy player and when you hit them i like to move my crosshair up a little bit it just helps me um, aim a little better you don't have to do that though just a little bit also you may want to raise or lower your mouse sensitivity till you like it that will help you a lot so you don't want your sensitivity like that but well, you also don't want your sensitivity like that either you want it just enough so we can move around pretty easy all right now um let me show you what i would i do a lot i like doing that well you can just do that see yeah next thing i like to do for accuracy is Circle strafe, but but aim at the end. Oops. And like, make sure you you keep your crosshair on the the enemy. See, and those tips can hit really help you a lot. See. So let's go on to advantages and strategies if an enemy has better armor than you you may want to rethink your strategy like if you're if on java you can fish rod or snowball on for bedrock also using a ranged weapon like a bow or a trident can help lower your enemy so that they can kill them with you so you can kill them with ease yeah i'll show you in a minute but also height and low ground advantages if your enemy is above you you may want to use a bow egg slash snowball ball Snow well, snowball or even a fishing rod to get them down like if you shoot a bow then they will take the bow damage and also take the fall damage if you are here i'll show you that in a minute i'll show you what i mean by that so i need a oops oh yeah that was a fail So basically, what I mean by that is, you do this, and it, it, they take the full damage and the full damage, where you can just come down and kill them faster because they took the damage. So let's show you, if you are one block lower than your enemy, you have an advantage because you have more surface area to hit your enemy and deal more knockback. So basically, that you see, I'm right here. If you're up there, like right there, they only have the chest and up to hit me but, but if I'm standing right here I have their whole body to hit them with see like that and then I'll show you well I just took a lot of, a lot of knockback okay let's show you number tip number um, three now hit critting to hit crit, you must PB, you must be in the air and be coming out of a jump to deal extra damage to kill your enemy faster. Hit critting usually takes uh, it takes one to three less hits to kill, depending on what weapon you are using or are holding. Particles will show if you hit if you critted your enemy or not. So, see, I hit them. No particles. I just have um, my particle on. But look. You see, you see that particle right there? That is hit critting particles. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to block trapping, aka sprint stopping. Two ways of doing this is if you have, if you're on a bridge on high pixel or something, you can break a block and then the bridge, and then when your enemy chart is at you, you can block and trap them, which making them fall into the void, losing everything they had had but you must be sneaky and not make it do obvious to you but do not make it obvious and we will see it coming and find a counter for it i can't show that right now but the second one is if you if you're on a pvp arena not on a bridge you can place a block where they are about to go and will stop their sprint and void getting them and getting w uh, and avoid getting w tapped after they get stuck you hit your enemy 
and, and then you in advantage to stop you from taking knockback and taking damage this strat is more popular on java servers so if you're using this on bedrock you got an advantage right there right then and there so basically I'm sh this is what i'm showing you wait what i can't really do it good because that's not an enemy player okay now let me show you um along with hit critting you can use tactics my friend showed me which is jitter bridging and the concept of that is to get height and crit damage on your enemy and also make it really difficult for your enemy to hit you while placing a block this can also avoid bow spammers or egg slash snowboard throwers throwing then straight ahead of you yeah it will avoid if you throw if they're throwing you if you're like over there and they're throwing a snowball at you it will avoid that right now so let me show you how to um jitter bridge aka butterfly bridge they're the same thing you just have to um jump up and spam your um, mouse button like so i'll show you and then when you get here you can either do this and do that or you can while you're jumping in the air you can do that um you can do the crit damage see and then i deal that crit damage which kills it faster so those are basically all the tips i have for you guys now i'm going to show you a lot of i'll show you some clips of what i have for you so hope you guys enjoyed the um the, t uh, the help hope you guys enjoyed the um the, tut the um the tutorial for you i hope i hope this helped you out a lot and i'm gonna roll the clips in a second and see you all in the next one peace Crashing down all around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found.